All right, so we've arrived at the snake show. We're gonna go inside, see if they've got anything. I'm with Jack and Gage. Say hi. Hi. Let's go. We were asked to do a snake awareness talk for a Singaporean school, so we're here today to pick up a suitable snake. We had a look around and handled some of their other stuff before we decided which snake we're taking. And over here they've got the large pit with all sorts of, well, only one sort, but very many monocled cobras inside. These are probably the most common ones they get on removal calls around Krubby. You can see there's a real many right in the back here. There's probably like 20 or 30 of them in here. And I'm going to open it up. See what's going on. Just pick them out. Yeah, the new one. Let's bring this one out to look at him a bit better. So this is a monocle cobra, which they just got in recently. That's why he's still very uh, shiny, because he hasn't been in the dust in the cage with all the other ones yet. It's a drop of water or it's venom. I'm not sure. Definitely a very feisty animal. It's still in very good condition. Unfortunately, when they're at these places for a while, sometimes their scales get a bit damaged and their overall health goes down a little bit. But this one, this one's a very healthy one. see why they're called monocled cobras because they have that uh, they have that circle on the back of their hood which looks like a monocle Alright, so we've came over here and they've got the, this is the big King Cobra collection pit because they get all the snakes from call outs around the area when someone has a snake in their yard and all of the kings that they collect, they just collect in this large cage sort of thing. You can see there's quite a lot of them in there. Alright, so they've just taken out one of the larger kings they had in the pit. Jack is with it right now. <laughs> And I think I'm going to get a chance to have my hands on it for a moment, too. So if someone could hold the camera. Yeah, here. You got him? He's curled around this plant here.
not quite as long as he looks. He's actually not, I think he's probably about maybe three and a half meters or so, but he's very, very thick. Definitely in quite good health. Stand up to see if we can show how long it is. Is it zoomed right out? Yep. Oh, yeah. Not really in the mood anymore. There we go. There we go. Look at that. It's focusing on you instead of the snake, but. Yeah. Gorgeous. You're still shaking. It's not all that long, but it's pretty. There we go. It's pretty big. Point. It's so heavy. All right, so That's... we've looked at him for a bit now, and now we're gonna put him back in. Gage is gonna hold the camera All for right, a moment. King. King is going home. There we go. Now it's time to bag ours. We chose a medium-sized female which was brought in the previous day after being caught at someone's home. It's fresh from the wild, which greatly improves its chances of fitting back in with nature. We got some smaller ones too back here. I have to watch where I'm going because they're right above my head. There's just king after king after king. Never did I think of being in the presence of so many giant king cobras. She's in the back corner there. No, other corner. This corner? Yeah. We're going to release it in the wild away from people after our presentation. Well, where's the thing to tie it with? Uh, I'll just hold it with my hands for now. Okay. No. Whoop. Yeah.